Welcome to What's to Eat. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in healthy, fresh, nutritious, wonderful, delectable treats. I'm joined today by the lovely Gina Orsicchio. Oh, thank you, Linda. You're I'm so happy to oh, be here. Oh, it's a pleasure here. to be here. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, owner of Flora Case Tea Room. Um, it's such a wonderful, wonderful idea, a tea room. Can you tell me how that all began? Ah, uh, thank you. Um, well, the, I was quickly becoming an empty nester, mm -hmm. and I wanted to get back into my own business. I have. Uh, I was a florist when I was uh, younger, and I knew I wanted to incorporate flowers and gifts, uh -huh. but I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, my dad had just uh, passed away. He mm -hmm. was the British side of the family. Mm -hmm. Flory Kay is my great grandmother, okay. so it's kind of a, a nod to to him. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. um, she was from Yorkshire, England, and um, I have a great love of uh, the English countryside. So you'll see a lot of that in Flory Kay's. You'll see our thatched roof. Uh, yeah. beverage station, um, yeah, we have an English phone booth outside, a red phone booth, an uh, uh, English uh, taxi cab, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, we want you to feel transported. Absolutely. Um, our, we have beautiful um, English garden, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we decorate with fresh flowers mm -hmm. every week. Mm -hmm. um, well, and um, so I wanted to incorporate all of these things and my love, I always found afternoon tea to be such a special, special thing. I, I remember being a little girl and my mom taking me to the Plaza Hotel and I remember every every minute of it, Dude. and I wanted to bring that to my that experience to my hometown where I, I grew up in Carmel. You did, yeah, you did. Well, you and, certainly did. Aw, thank you. You really did, Gina. Can you tell me the difference between an um, an afternoon tea and a high tea for yes, my viewers? This is yes. Americans do tend to get the two confused. What we serve at Flory K's is afternoon tea. Okay. Um, the okay. origin of that was okay. the Duchess Anna in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. The upper crust uh, traditionally ate lunch at noon, mm -hmm. and then dinner no no earlier than 7 p.m. at night. Mm -hmm. So she would feel hungry mm -hmm. uh, between 3 and 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So she started to order um, little finger sandwiches and 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 scones and along with her tea around that time uh, it, and it became a habit Interesting. and soon she started inviting her friends uh -huh. Uh -huh. and it just caught on um, with the with the royalty and the mm -hmm. uh, upper mm -hmm. class yes. in England right um, and uh, yeah it's a it's a Meant not to be. It's a light, mm -hmm. uh, a lighter meal. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, high tea mm -hmm. that was created by the working class, also oh, um, in that same time period. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They would work long days uh -huh. and with no break. Uh -huh. um, and as soon as they got h home. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, mm -hmm. they took their tea, mm -hmm. but with a heartier um, uh, uh, Meal, items. Yeah, yeah. Meals, yeah. Um, often pork pies, really? uh, high tea. sausage rolls. How interesting! And what I believe um, the term "high" came from is it was they were seated at the dining room table. Uh -huh. Um, okay. I, and it was their their meal, uh, unlike um, the Duchess, who it was a, a social event and a light right. snack. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, it's much heartier fare, mm -hmm. um, high tea, and um, yeah, that's so, wonderful to know. Yeah, yeah. So it's um, 
It's, yeah. it's lovely. You really feel uh, an absolutely lovely, wonderful treat going in. You've put so much wonderful effort and everything to do, including this amazing, amazing woman, Chef <laughs> Michelle, which you have the Thank honor you. of having today. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Chef Michelle. My pleasure. My pleasure as well. Um, so in terms today, we're going to have some of your lovely, uh, delectable, nutritious, and healthy fare and treats. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show is um, I'm going to talk about our fruit bowl with our um, homemade granola. So we make our own granola with Flory K's, and it is, um, we have oats, we have pumpkin seeds, we add some cooked quinoa to it, um, almonds and walnuts, and then we also incorporate hemp seeds, um, some sesame seeds, some desiccated coconut, and some um, coconut chips, both which are unsweetened. Um, and then this gets toasted with some maple syrup, and we use coconut oil um, to keep it healthy. And we add some cloves and some cinnamon, and this all gets toasted into the oven, um, which lands up, you know, looking like this, and it's a very tasty, um, healthy snack. Can I just show them this? You do such a beautiful job. Um, in terms of the lovely nutrient density, um, colors and flavors, quinoa is very high in protein, a wonderful multitude of fiber and flavors, and antioxidants. Just a very healthy, deductible treat. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. So the one option is um, our fresh fruit um, cup. Um, it's all fresh fruit. We cut it on a daily basis. We try and do seasonal vegetables, a lot of berries, which are very low in sugar. Um, and then you have all these optional add-ons. You can do the granola. Um, we also have um, regular yogurt, and we also keep this coconut yogurt, which is a vegan yogurt. Um, as a lot of people are not doing dairy these days, so they go for the um, non-dairy option. So you can add any of these things to the top, you know, our, our yogurt. Um, you can add some of the coconut chips again, which are unsweetened, both of them. Um, of course, the granola. And then we also have um, um, a CA. Uh, Akai. Sorry, Akai, Akai. berries, yeah. um, which you can top. And you can top. So that, that's our fresh fruit bowl. That is so lovely. You can see this lovely array of such wonderful nutrient-dense foods that can either be vegan or it has lovely berries, fiber, and delectable vegan yogurt as well as regular yogurt. So many healthy and nutritious um, different ways to eat. Absolutely wonderful. So we also have, at lunchtime, you can make your own salad. Um, and one of the um, options for topping the salad is our uh, poached chicken. So we take our chicken breast and it gets marinated for two days. Um, wow. We have soy sauce, balsamic, orange juice, lemon juice, um, some fresh garlic, brown sugar and some powdered ginger. Um, we also throw in some um, fresh orange, and this we basically marinate for two days. Um, when we finished with that, after the two days, we then... Um, to show. For two days, I see all the wonderful attention that goes into something. Marinated chicken. How healthy and delicious and, and from scratch and, and just real, just absolutely exceptional. Um, then once um, this is marinated, we then uh, poach it um, in a Lapsan Souchong um, liquid, which is a smoky tea that we, that we have. And that gets poached with a little bit of, um, we top the chicken with a little bit of Chinese five spice. And in the end, this is what the chicken breast lands up looking like. And we um, then slice this and um, top our salads with it. We also have a, a sandwich with this with fresh apple and fig jam. What a wonderful combination. Um, so when you make your own salad, you've got the option of um, adding the chicken to it. 
or we do have, um, we also do a spa tuna, so which is no mayonnaise. Um, and we do the spa tuna with no mayonnaise. It's just with um, a little um, red onion and a little olive oil and some red wine vinegar. So a very healthy option. And absolutely beautiful. And as a nutritionist in RD, this is something I would recommend to my diabetic clients, as well as people that are watching carbs, as well as just finding foods that are nutrient dense and uh, real and, and just absolutely lovely. Everything is presented in such a beautiful way. And then when we first opened, I was very um, adamant on making our own salad dressings, that they were gluten-free, that they were made from fresh, natural products. And the one we make is a raspberry vinaigrette, so it's made with fresh raspberries. And we, of course, we use a raspberry vinegar. And it's just really a little Dijon mustard, um, some seasonings, and, and oil. Um, and then this is our citrus vinaigrette, where we take orange juice and we um, reduce down the orange juice, so it's very concentrated, so it's a very intense flavor, but very light and natural. Um, we, we've started growing our own microgreens, so we're using a lot of those on a lot of uh, our dishes as a garnish, uh, but also it's very tasty. Wonderful. Microgreens here, let me see. Which has a tremendous amount of antioxidants, uh, pronsothionins and fiber um, as a topping on both which is, is wonderful. Can I ask you, Michelle, before you continue, as far as, as a chef, where did it all begin? Um, well, I grew up in South Africa, so, um, and I actually went to school for accounting, um, but I always had a passion for food. And then when I moved here in 92, um, I started cooking, and um, I worked for some very big catering companies and trained under, under some great chefs, and I, but I think the, the passion was always there. Um, and then I stopped working full time and then um, I had known Gina and then she came to me with this idea and it's, it's really, it's, it's a passion. And growing up with all this food, it just came very easily. You know, okay, it was my comfort food. food you know? It was comfort, your <laughs> yeah. comfort foods were yeah. eating very healthy and nutrient dense. Yeah. So it's, now, I, yeah. you know, we grow a lot of our own vegetables where I live and uh -huh. I like very much farm to table eating. Uh -huh. Um, very uh -huh. natural. Um, I believe in eating in moderation. Um, I agree. You know, agree. yes, we do bake with butter and sugar, but I'd rather have a little bit um, with butter that's natural instead of a, a, you a, bet. a fake uh, margarine um, substitute. So I, I believe you know. in all of that, that we must have quality which you offer. And you have a, a tremendous passion that you get the very best of quality of ingredients in every single thing you make. I just think it's it's an honor to to taste your food because <laughs> from the chocolate to um, the spices to the mini greens to to everything is, yeah, is really I just a treat. I think you 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 got to start with quality products and uh -huh. we try and buy locally as much as possible and seasonally which is very important to me. Mm -hmm. Do you have so. a favorite ingredient? Um, no. I, Something from South Africa. Yeah, I do or? actually the sausage rolls. That's oh. that, that's my like comfort. <laughs> you know, that's if I if the I eat lunch, rolls. that's what I'll eat. Yeah. You know, because that's what we used to have when we came home from school. You'd have a that was your lunch was a sausage roll. And a it's, sausage just roll. to explain it, it's not sausage. It's um it's ground beef, mm -hmm. and it's got onions and parsley, and it's wrapped in puff pastry and it's baked. In the beginning, Ooh. people had this mis misconception that it was a sausage wrapped in pastry. No, it's it's ground beef and. Ground um, beef. I try and add a lot of uh, fresh parsley to it because uh -huh. um, I believe in a lot of greens. So uh, wonderful! That's my comfort food. That's lovely. That sounds excellent. Okay, so this is our afternoon tea. Um, we do offer a gluten-free ver uh, version at at the moment um, because we do a lot of the baking in-house, so it's very easy to accommodate. Mm -hmm. um, at the bottom is our tea sandwiches. Um, there's always three varieties, and um, this is our signature sandwich. It is a zucchini nut bread uh, with a coronation chicken salad. Um, the zucchini nut bread, we, we have a nut-free version, and we also have a gluten-free version. Um, and you also have a, a wonderful cucumber sandwich. Oh, a cucumber and watercress butter, or this one is in... Um, My favorite. <laughs> it's olives and, and pimento cream mm -hmm. cheese. Mm -hmm. um, the and other I thing know. about the coronation chicken salad, it's actually got a hint of curry powder, and that's something that I bring back from South Africa every time I visit. It's, it's, 
curry is just really a blend of spices and it's the blend that we like. Oh, um, interesting. So we interesting. bring that back. I love the idea that you have things gluten-free for people yeah. with celiac or yeah. have any disruption. And it looks so absolutely delicious to be gluten-free and I've tasted it. It is delicious, even though my favorite. And this one um, here is... Oh, today there was an egg salad. So we just, egg you know, salad. we, mm -hmm. as again, we, we make all our own tuna salad, egg salad. It's all made from scratch. Mm -hmm. And then the second tier is mm. is a scone, <laughs> or a scone as you say. I say it's a scone. This scone. is actually um, like the British version. It's a much drier uh, scone. There's less um, butter and cream in. We also have a daily scone, but that's got dried fruit in it. So this one, you really need to, to have a bit of butter on it and jam and cream Absolutely to really delicious. enjoy the full flavor. Like I said, I'm sure my crew can't wait to, to have these wonderful foods. It's just... Absolutely wonderful and freshly made from fresh ingredients. Oops, sorry. <laughs> fresh ingredients. And then the third layer, so you've had your savory and, your, and um, the top layer is your sweets. And we always serve it with a cup of fruit. Um, we have a Linza heart. We have a meringue with some raspberry curd. We have a lemon square, an apple square, and a little pistachio uh, cookie. Mmm, looks wonderful. And again, it's, it's all made from scratch. And as I believe as an RDN nutritionist, that it's quality. You eat something in moderation. And uh, eating in moderation balance is key. Such lovely flavors and colors. And that's offered with every, every tea. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have a huge variety of teas, a lot of uh, green teas, um, which aid digestion. So, um, mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite tea? It's actually, it's one, like a South African blend. It's a, a real black, you know, it's a black brew, black tea, and, um, but that you have to enjoy with milk and sugar, so I don't have it that often. <laughs> oh, well, everything is, is absolutely beautiful and lovely, um, and every time it, it's such a wonderful experience that you actually feel that you're in England. But on top, it also presents itself in a way, like I said, as a nutritionist, um, that it is healthy, nutritious, and very easily can be accommodated from dairy-free to gluten-free to even vegan um, with their uh, newest addition to yogurt. So it can be uh, a wonderful way to, to stay on your diet or your modification at the same time, have a lovely treat. Um, so Gina, tell me, um, we have this amazing event that happened, and I only know a little bit on the surface about it. Can you explain to me the, oh, the, birth, the birth of the new <laughs> little prince? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're so happy. We've been following the royal couple from when they first got engaged. We've been celebrating. When they got married, we had this beautiful event. Um, we had a, a reception at our tea room. We closed down for a private party. Really? We were blessed to have um, Mr. Manners, who is often on uh, the Today Show. Really? And, really? Uh, yeah, he's an expert uh, etiquette commentator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He joined us and was uh -huh. our MC. Thomas Farley, a dear friend. Um, we duplicated the menu as closely as possible. All the details weren't out um, in advance, but we did know it was going to be a lemon elderflower cake. So we had oh, a French pastry chef, another friend of ours. It, this is a real team effort. With, yeah, we're all but... we're all family and friends. Beside at Flory oh, Kay's, um, besides working together, um, and she came and did a beautiful a beautiful, beautiful cake for us. And um, and it was lovely. We incorporated Harry and Meghan, all their favorite foods <laughs> into it. And then more recently, we had a baby shower for Meghan. And Michelle was just honored for all her volunteer work. Besides all the things she does for me, um, she also volunteers her time in Soup kitchens and the Ronald McDonald House. Do you really? Yeah. So she, uh, we're. This is a very very special person, You're and amazing. yeah, <laughs> no, I would, Flory Kays would not be without her. Oh, I didn't know the first thing wonderful. about food service. Um, right. It it would not be. That's wonderful. This is a team effort, 
and she was recently honored by Ronald McDonald House. So we uh, gave all honor. the gifts that the, our guests brought uh -huh. to the to our shower, uh -huh. um, donated it uh, there. Oh, for how the, wonderful. Yes, for the That's children um, that are hospitalized down at Maria Ferrara's oh. and their siblings that stay there. And, uh, yeah, then it's just one of the few and you wonderful so things she for does. so many people. Oh, you're you're acknowledging you. to lovely Michelle, but you do so much as well. Oh, I'm curious, what are, what are favorite foods of, of uh, uh, Megan? And, uh, oh, Chris what was her was favorite? We incorporated. Was a Niswa's salad. Yes, that, so, we, so we had that. Yeah. Of, of, we did our own uh, version. fancier version. Um, oh, what uh, what there else? Was also, there was the, something with mushrooms. I think Harry was something with mushrooms, so we did that. Uh -huh. And then, of course, the wedding cake, which we knew about. Yeah, so. Harry also loves bananas, oh, so right. we did a banana <laughs> dessert. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, it was a lot of fun. It was I a lot wish, of fun. Yeah. yeah. And there was differentiation with the, with the shower? Did you make anything special for the... With the shower, we did a traditional afternoon tea oh, nice. um, for everyone, like like right. you see here, right. all our guests. Yeah. Yes. And we, had, we played games with trivia about the royal family, and we had one of the local um, candle shops... Do, Jarworthy donated um, favors, um, oh, wow. a candle. She made a special candle uh, to commemorate the event. Really? And uh, yeah, it was a it, it was wonderful, just wonderful. Yeah, and to see all the beautiful, beautiful gifts uh -huh. that our um, guests brought that we were able to donate, it was yeah, it was really very touching. Oh. No, it sounds, it sounds wonderful. And, you know, when you talk about high tea and the afternoon tea, you would think that high tea would be for uh, royalty, just the name. And it's so fascinating the way you explained as far as the high tea being, you know, the earlier afternoon for the workers and the afternoon tea being for royalty. Right. Right. Wow. They're often confused by Americans. A matter of fact, when I was recently in England, mm -hmm. I had tea at the Ritz. Mm -hmm. And they were saying when um, they someone calls for a reservation at 2 o'clock for high tea, they know it's an American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Do you have a favorite tea? Um, my tastes change seasonally. Uh -huh. In okay. the winter, I love our hot cinnamon spice. Mm-hmm. And that. then yes. in the in the summer, I like our fruitier teas. Mm -hmm. We have um, some teas that are just pure dried fruits, right. Right. Um, contain no caffeine. Right. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, they're wonderful, especially iced. Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. um, I also love a blend um, that's called Victorian London Fog. Um, and that is a blend of Earl Grey and mm -hmm. vanilla and lavender. Oh, and, of course, our Flory K's, which is Flurry black case. tea with rose petals. Because oh. rose, you'll see the rose theme throughout our restaurant. Mm -hmm. We serve, decorate our plates with yes. roses that are edible. I have to show this again because it's absolutely beautiful uh, with these uh, lovely scones. And then our, our bunt, we've just got a new dessert, which is a bunt cake, which is infused with Earl Grey, and then we serve, we always serve it with a rose in the center. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I tease it's a bunt. A bunt. <laughs> a bunt. A bunt. <laughs> well, this has been um, such a, a lovely and exhilarating and wonderful experience to have you both here, oh, and it's, it's, it's such oh, a it's pleasure. An honor. Thank you and to so learn. much, and yeah. thank you for all you do. Oh, absolutely, and thank learning you. all about England and and the wonderful foods, and an honor to meet you, Chef Michelle. Thank you. You're absolutely wonderful being here. Thank you. <laughs> Remember when you eat well and you feel great, and do things in moderation is something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember. Uh, balanced moderation key. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us.